for the things that you have done for me in my life and for the things that you have shown me. I praise you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Uh, I wanted to share my experience with all of you. This is my first time attending School of the Prophet, so I was not sure what to expect. So when I got here, it was, it was very beautiful, but it was also very challenging for me because God was showing me a lot of things about my character things that I really did not know and it was very painful in a lot of ways because I wasn't sure how to deal with it. Um, being placed in a situation where there's so many different people and personalities, it was difficult for me. And so I began to murmur, I began to complain, I began to um, bring some of my burdens to my sister, um, hoping that she could somehow uplift me. and. As I started coming to these classes and started to understand communion with God and started to understand prayer, God showed me something that I had never seen before. And unless you truly have an experience with God or have an experience with scriptures, they're just words, they're meaningless. And so one thing that he showed me, if we can turn to the book of John, chapter 15. John chapter 15, we'll begin with verse 1. If we have it, say amen. amen. It says, I am the true vine, and my Father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it, that it may bring forth more fruit. If we can go to verse 4, it says, Abide in me, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear it fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can ye, except ye abide in me. And so for a long time now, I kept asking God to show me, what does it mean to abide in you? What does this mean? For some reason, I kept thinking, okay, I just need to, you know, um, just pray, just pray, just pray. But I still could not understand it. And yesterday... I was really agonizing with God and he just revealed it to me in a way where he started to show me that the way that we abide in Christ is by his words abiding in us. It's through reading the scripture and meditating on it. And he started to show me that when we are placed in certain situations, it's for a reason. It's for character building. And instead of murmuring and complaining, I recite scriptures. I claim the promises of God. And sometimes we often think that the way to have peace is by not having difficulty situations and we say Lord remove this situation from me or if only this person didn't say that to me I would not react this way but it's in those situations where you claim the promises of God you meditate on scripture and as Christ starts to dwell in your heart his character will be manifested in you and so I started to also read in John 316 where it says for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. For God so loved me that he gave his only begotten son. And so these words started to have more meaning for me in my life. And I started to read something. Um, I don't think about the book with me, but I wrote it down. It's in this book, um, Everyday Living by Ellen G. White. And it says, the power, and it's on page 34, it says, the power of self-restraint and strength, strengthens by exercise. That which at first seems difficult by constant repetition grows easy until right thoughts and actions become habitual. So I started to realize that 
the word of God, that this walk with God is something that is daily. It's not something that just happens to you all of a sudden. And as I was sharing with my sister what God has shown me, she was telling me, I already told you this. I, I, you know, I explained this to you and I'm sharing my experience with you, but it, I had to allow it to become an experience for me. And so I'm very grateful. Um, I'm so grateful that God has brought me here because again, in meditating on John 3:16. When I came, I was like, Lord, you know, I gave up everything for you. I gave up my job. I gave up my family, my home. And I came here, you know, why are you allowing, you know, these things to come upon me? I've, I've given up all for you. And God said, Has you, have you really given up all for me? What have I given up for you? I gave you my son. I gave you all. You know, and sometimes we think even with sin, oh, we've given up so much for God. But even in steps to Christ, it says, but what have you really given up except a sin polluted heart for Jesus to cleanse, for Jesus to purify? And so I'm so grateful um, that God has even shown me, as we some of us have testified, about how to truly commune with God, because I realize that. I've never known how to pray. I've come to God and I've told him about my burdens. I've told him about the things that I've been going through, but I've never allowed God to speak to me. I've never allowed him to speak in that soft, still voice. I haven't allowed him the opportunity by bringing his words, by claiming his promises, by bringing words to him in prayer. As we can see, even with Christ, when he prayed, he was praying God's words to him. And so by allowing God to speak to us and us to speak to God, we then develop a relationship. Because if it's only us speaking, we're not growing. We're not learning. And so I'm grateful for learning how to pray. And I'm grateful for the books that we've been reading, which is drawing me closer to God. And I'm grateful for him showing me things that are within, my, within myself so that I can bring it to him and surrender to him. Because it's a heart work. It's not just professing to be a Christian. It's not just having this outward appearance. It begins in the heart. Because if not, then we just have this form of godliness with no power. And so um, that's some of my experience that I've, um, I've had here. Um, so if we can bow our heads for a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, again, I thank you so much. I thank you for your Holy Spirit, Lord, and I pray that you continue to do this work, not only in me, but in all of us, Lord, for you who have started this great work will bring it to a finish, Lord, and I thank you in the name of Jesus. Amen.